Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about another application of the quadratic functions in economic situation. This is basically about the production possibilities frontier. And straight away, we have come to a mathematical equation that shows the production possibilities frontier. It is as y is equal to minus 1 over 4x square minus 1 over 2x plus 4 42. Now, x and y are the variables, and these are actually the, the goods that are produced, where y and 2 are the two goods. Now, let y is equal to 0. Let us assume that one of the variables is 0, because you know that in order to get the intercept, we have to put one variable equal to 0. And then the other intercept can be found as well by putting the other variable equal to 0. Starting with y, if y is equal to 0, this term on the left hand side will become 0 and it will give us the standard form of a quadratic equation in which we have a, we have b and we have c and they are used in the quadratic formula which you are well familiar with. We put these values of a, b and c and that allows us to get the values of the variable. Now, the solution is not given in detail here. You can again pause the video and do this exercise of uh, applying the quadratic formula, which is a very usual thing and easy thing to do. After solution, we have found that the value of x is not 1, rather it has two values because we are dealing with a quadratic function and quadratic functions have two roots because the degree of the equation is equal to the number of the roots that we shall get from its solution. Now, one value of x is 12 and the other is minus 14. Now, we can write these values of x and y in the standard form, which is the ordered pair form. Now, this uh, solution set is actually containing what we were trying to do. And that is the first ordered pair where the value of x and y is there. And again, value of x and y is there. You see y is appearing as 0 in both of the places because these two values are basically generated while assuming that y was equal to 0. Now, we should note these two points because these are two intercepts and these are the x-intercepts. Now. Assuming that x is equal to 0, it will allow us to get the y-intercept. We are using definitely the same equation and in place of x, we are putting 0 wherever we can find x and the simplification of it will give us the answer and that is y is equal to 42. Alone, it's not much meaningful. If you write it in the form of an ordered pair, it shows that it is y-intercept because the value of the other variable, that is x, is equal to 0. Now, we are combining all of these points, these three ordered pairs, in order to have uh, more detailed information, which we can use to plot the diagram. Now, these are the three intercepts. These two are the x-intercepts, and this one is the y-intercept. By using this, we can come up with the diagram of the production possibilities frontier but there is a caveat here why because in on the cartesian coordinates there are x axis and there are y axis and we can choose the points on them by using the virtue of intercepts but what about the points that exist within these coordinates not on the x and y axis but between them in this space, in x, y space or x bar, y space. For them, we should also use some other values of x and y. Uh, for example, we should use some non-zero values because we have been using zero values. If we do that, we will be getting further points which will not be on the axis. Rather, they will be in the quadrants. Now, basically, this is what we have understood here, that Prussian cannot be achieved only by using the intercepts. We have to get other points as well by using the non-zero values of the variables.
and that is represented in this diagram. As you can see, this is the one intercept and that is the other intercept. And both of these are the x intercepts where the curve is cutting x. This is the positive side and that is the negative. And this is that point that we just calculated and this is y intercept where x is equal to 0 and the other value is non zero. If I just use these, I might come up with this straight line and the production possibilities frontier might look like this, which is not the best way. Why? Because there are many points that might exist between this set of points and between that set of points. Therefore, in order to get a more precise thing, we what we can do here is that we can use the non-zero values and we can get the points to make on the places which are not exactly the axes. For example, this point is within a quadrant and that is also, so is this. So using different values of x, we can get the values of y. And hence these points can help us to make a more precise production possibilities frontier which is not linear which is more realistic as we know that in real world the relationships are realistically speaking usually non-linear. So you see how quadratic function can help us to make the production possibilities frontier. One last thing that we must remember is that this is that quadrant which is the quadrant 2 where the one output can be negative Therefore, it is usual to choose this segment rather than this segment because this is not making any economic sense where the quantity of one of the good is negative. So this is that usual diagram that we see in the books and this is the background working using the quadratic functions in it.